That's right, Kaylin. Come one, come all to this year's Huskinson Haunted House. Now from skulls and tombstones to even spiders like this one, organizers are going all out for a very special occasion. Now I am joined now by the owner, Brian, of this haunted house. Now this is about 10 years in the makings, 10th anniversary, big deal. How's it feeling right now? It feels absolutely fantastic. Uh, the donations that everybody uh, have, have been bringing has been fantastic, and we've, we're well on our way to collecting more food than we've ever collected before. Absolutely. And so again, 10 years, so you got to make sure it's bigger and better than ever. Um, tell us a little bit more about the production and what people can expect from this really amazing house. Absolutely. It's a maze that goes from the front yard down the side yard through the backyard. Uh, there's going to be ghost schools. There's live actors, uh, spiders, um, you name it. We got it. Uh, it's still family friendly, though, and that's the important part. We want people to come out and enjoy Halloween. We want them to be safe and have fun. And that's the biggest thing, you know, I want to make sure you celebrate this holiday. And also, as you mentioned, we're celebrating for a good cause as well. You're helping out a local community organization. Tell us a bit more about what you're collecting. Absolutely. Uh, we're accepting food donations for the YMCA. And what they do is in turn, they put together food baskets for some folks that could really use it. Okay. And lastly, again, what does it mean to have this community support? Again, 10 years in the making. Not a lot of people can say that. Absolutely. And, and you know, everybody has a good time with it. Uh, we really appreciate it. We figured if we're going to put this much time and effort into it, uh, let's do it for a good cause. Absolutely. Well, everyone has tonight, the last night, to come and check out this really amazing house. It is from dusk until when? Till the witches come home. You have time now, so make sure you come on and head out. Live and reporting live in Northeast Albuquerque. Brianna Albizu, KOAT, Action 7 News. Brianna, you're a lot.